Hi guys, it's Brandy and dun, da, da. Um, this actually came on, let's see, I think it was Saturday, today is Monday, but it was Easter, Passover weekend for whatnot, and with six kids, I was too busy to do this, but we're going to do the unboxing. So this is how it comes, okay, it's the Witch's Moon subscription. This is the big box. Now, I do have on the channel the other ones, but I have the boxes to show you in case you don't see them very often. There you go. You open right to that. This is about the size. Let me see if I can hold this up without making a mess. This is about the size of the um, Witch's Bounty box, if you were to compare. Doink. See, so it's substantially bigger, and the Witch's Roots box is about the same size. So it is quite a bigger box. I, I did take my address label off so I could just open this with you guys. Um, the other thing I really like about this is if you are the kind to... If you are the kind to not be able to get it out of the box... <laughs> uh, if you are the kind to, like, ship other things and reuse boxes. These outer boxes are a fantastic size. Guys, I really, I can't get it out. <laughs> it's gonna be three minutes of me trying to get this box out. What? Don't let this turn you off. It's a fantastic box. It's worth the effort. Yay! <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, how's quarantine treating you guys? Because I clearly am a little bit off. But uh, let's be honest, I'm always a little bit off. Okay, so here you go. We're going to jump right in. And I don't know anything about these going in. Um, so we'll find out. Okay, so they all have had this brown paper this month, which I kind of like. I like when they're all very closely themed. I, I think they're always closely themed. Um, I've seen... Some unboxings online where they weren't, but I think pretty much at this point they are. So let's see what. Okay, so this is what it looks like as you open it. Um, again, I just reiterate all the time. I'm not a fan of these little packing things. They get everywhere there, but they are recyclable. Um, you can use, reuse them and, or just put them in like, we have a shred bag for my shredder and I just put them in there but they do get everywhere. So I'm gonna set this, well, can you still see that? I think you can, okay. So first off, they always, I think they always put a um, card in that is intuitively chosen for you. And this is Prenite. It says, I accept the impermanence of all things. I know that change brings renewal and goodness. That's pretty fantastic. On the back is a kind of a, um, what the crystal, would do. It says it integrates and accept change, align with the cycles of life, improve mental alertness, and focus on the present moment. Hopefully that is focusing. I hold it in front of my face so that it does. This is the substantial letter. It always has um, at least one piece of parchment and then the note. I'm just going to move my knife for a second. This is the sigil. Don't know which way is up. That looks so much like a Japanese kanji, it's amazing, but could be quite a few different things with that sigil, so I'm just going to let it go. Um, this says, upon wings of health. Okay, so that's interesting because I, I so house of healing is um, part of this. If you work with uh, particular kinds of runes and sigils, this has house in it. It also has healing in it. It has self and awareness, some of the positions of the dots. It's an energy thing. It's going to be interesting to see what it says. So this is clearly, um, they do this so you can put them in your um, book of shadows. It's about that size. They sent out a book earlier, but if you were to get a book from the bookstore. So really nice artwork. It seems very much like a uh, spell. And of course, because it's particular to the witch's bounty. I try to make it so you can't see the whole thing. It's upon wings of health. Interesting. And then healing. Oh, there's a whole bunch of cards today. Oh, there's a whole bunch of cards. Look at that. Oh, these are awesome. Okay. So 
I've shown before, I've gotten the Witch's Roots ones in mass. This is the same kind of artwork, which I really appreciate the consistency. If this artwork is not your thing, you're going to have a little bit of trouble with the art that comes with the boxes. This art is totally my thing. Um, it's very much how I draw, and I love the parch parchment color of the paper. Um, it, they match. So let me show you previous ones I have here. Um, these are from previous boxes. Uh, this is from A Witch's Roots. Um, this is from A Witch's Bounty. I wear this all the time. This is a Viking arrow that you'll see in some of my videos. This is from the one that just came, Herkimer Diamond Healing. And then this is one of the new ones. So as you can see, they all correspond. So if you are someone that enjoys the collecting of all the things, um, and then the spells also are in that same kind of pattern. I don't know what, what to say. Uh, they do all correlate. So even if you were to only get one box or um, sometimes get a witch's roots, sometimes get a witch's bounty, always get the witch's moon, they all correlate. So you, they do a fantastic job with that. I can't stress that enough. Um, I'm going to go through the cards now since I've been taught. So healing, okay. And this is... Um, Okay, it's just an overall, and it has a sigil at the bottom for healing. I really feel like I'm going to put that up there so people can focus on it. Just in case you want to use that sigil right now, I think it would be important. Um, and then there's one for grounding, a whole page on grounding and things that work well for grounding. It looks like they've got metals that are, okay, so they, oh, they all do. So celestial influences, metals. Colors that are good for that. Stones you can work with. Talismans, anointing oils, all the things. Okay. So just for your own reference, here's the talisman for grounding. Which, honestly, right now, I think healing and grounding would be fantastic for everybody. So just take that into consideration. Then there's one for prosperity. And there's one for protection. These are all... Um, these are probably, when I do tarot readings, or anybody asks for help help with things or he or spells like if they want me to write a spell for them or make them a spell kit uh these are probably the top four so i really appreciate that they curated these that people especially if they're new to uh, working witchcraft or having that be part of their religious practice or their spiritual practice um i really appreciate they curated these in this fashion and sent them all together it's really nice um, and they look really well done. A lot of info. Um, and then I have, let's see. Ooh. Galangal roots. Love this stuff. Awesome. Eucalyptus. Use a lot of this, especially when I lived in California because it just grows. So you could just go get it. And lemon peel. Lemon peel is, gosh, you can use this for so many things. I wonder what they're going to tell you. Um, Oh, guys, guys, my husband's looking at me opening this. <laughs> he buys it for me so he can stand there and make fun of me outside my door. Um, Aramid anointing oil. Never heard of that. Lots of stuff in it, as usual. Looks like maybe some eucalyptus leaf. Uh, maybe lavender buds in here. I haven't smelled it yet, so we'll see. Some sort of flower. I don't know what aramid is. Can you read that? Probably not. Boink. Boink. I don't know. It's A-I-R-M-I-D. Let's see. Okay, so it's super herbally. It's got a little bit of a medicinal scent, which I can't place, but I recognize really strongly. So when I read it, I'm going to feel like an ass. It's extremely familiar. It's not bad or good. It's kind of neutral, but it smells, it's actually, it's actually pleasant. Uh, we'll see about that. But guys, 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 okay. I'm unbelievably excited about this. I know it doesn't look like it. Can you take half a second? Look at it. I know it's probably not a swan feather, but I've really wanted a swan feather recently. Um, just because uh, with some of the work that I've been doing, given the time of year and the certain moons that are happening, um, I've really wanted a swan feather for work with. So I'm going to pretend. I'm going to pretend. I know it's probably not. 
but how awesome is that? I love when the things that I've been really thinking about working on, oh, look at it, come in one of these boxes. And can I take a second? Because I love that this is wrapped like this. Doesn't it just remind you of that song, brown paper packages tied up with string? It's not really. Okay, so I, I'm actually going to rebow this and just slide it off because it's not tied. It's pretend tied, which is even better. <laughs> so we're going to slide this off. Doo, doo, doo. Maybe. Maybe I'm not going to slide it off. Maybe I'm doing it incorrectly because I need to slide the corner off first. Mm. Or not. Yikes. I did it. Today's all about me not being able to open things. I'm just going to move that over there. Let's see what we got. Ready? Ooh, what is this? It's like a suede pouch with a moon, and I'm going to say smoky quartz crystal on it. That's Okay, so I'm going to be honest. This is totally not my style, but I don't think that's the point. It's super suede which feels amazing, fringed out, probably handmade. This looks handmade and hand-stitched. Really, it does, with an inlaid crystal. I'm going to say this looks like smoky quartz when the light is not directly on it, but that's crazy pretty. So it doesn't have a strap or anything on the outside. It's a snap. Uh, strap is on the inside. So this is awesome. Uh, look at It's just long enough. You could wear it, like, right, right there if you wanted. I don't know what the description is yet. We haven't got that far. But um, I'm going to say you could take your protection crystals. You could take your protection bags if you make those. Ooh, blown out. So sorry. Um, uh, your prosperity spells, your protection spells, your little bags, um, spell bags. You could put this on yourself and carry it with you and uh, just have it with you at all times. We'll find out what it says. That's what I'm thinking that is. I have no idea. But very cool. It's got that really, this has a great vibe to it. Like just opening it, it just feels amazing. So I'm very excited about that. I'm mostly excited about the feather. <laughs> Stupid. Ooh, water medicine. Sacred salt. Okay, so I love all things involving water and plant medicine. All things. I use fire medicine a lot too. And that is um really This is actually odd. It smells odd. It's it has rose petals in it, so I expected it to be more floral. Super soft, really calming. Not like lavender calming. I have no idea what's in this. It's kind of like the Aramid anointing oil. It smells like I should know what's in it, but I can't place it right off the bat. It's not overpowering. It's really beautiful. Look at how beautiful that is. This is almost one. I know it probably is actually now that I'm looking at it. It's really pretty. I'll show you the inside. See, the inside looks really um, kind of like no big deal. It's one that I would have out without the label on it just because um, I, I don't need everybody knowing my business that would come like in my guest bathroom or something, but it's that pretty. And it's not overpowering, so if somebody went to smell it, it wouldn't be like, oh, wow, that's smelly. This still smells really good, but I can't place what's in it. it maybe lavender, maybe rosemary. It smells like lavendery. Okay, and then I need my knife. Okay, we're going to try to get through this in the next two minutes. That was awkward. There we go, because I don't want it to take too long. This is healing light aura spray now i love aura spray right before tarot readings and this is amazing it's definitely got some oils in there you can see them so i would invert that on look at how pretty that gorgeous label is what so pretty my skies have been looking like that where i live recently okay incense is Lavender empowerment. It's lavender with something smoky at the back, and I can smell it through the plastic. It actually is extremely pleasant. It's not overpowering. Um, I'm envisioning, I'll have to let you know what that smells like um, 
and you know a little spray bottle for the healing light aura spray um i didn't smell this did i oh first off don't when you're doing things like this don't just put it on your nose because that's miserable which i just did this yeah i don't like that i will use it but it's got something really strong in it. It hits the very back of my throat like a, a medicine. So that is not my favorite. This feels kind of big, like a palm stone and smooth. These little guys, let's see what we got in here. Gorgeous, I love this color. It's like not purple, it's like a purpley blue. Oh, and this matches, look at that. Oh, it is a palm stone. This is gorgeous. It's almost like a blue lace agate. Look at that, look at how, so these are fantastic. And again, you could put a bunch in this little packet, but look how big it is. See, so that's that's not small, right? It's a pretty nice size. Um, uh, maybe one, two, three, maybe uh, four or five inches by four inches, five by four maybe. So yeah, this is a, clearly a palm stone. I'm not sure what um, what that is. We'll, I'm going to look in a second and give you all the info. Last but not least, I am taking longer than my two minutes. This I'm aware of. I'm so sorry. Hang tight. We got to get it open. See what's what. This is, oh, and gorgeous. These are gorgeous. I love the way they wrapped these. Look at that. Okay, so I really like candles, but I've never seen candles like this. I love this beeswax wrap like this. Tell the witch's moon, do more like that, because those are fantastic. Uh, so clearly has a theme. Okay, there's your blue color. Um, I'm not sure if the Aramid oil has to do with that. We're going to find out in a second, but it is very airy, watery to me. This is very watery movement type, right? So let's jump right in and see what's what with this particular box, okay? So it's called the Witch's Talisman Empowerment. Can you see? Do that, maybe. There you go. Um, so they have brought in things to incorporate grounding, healing, protection, and prosperity into your daily rituals, wow. What is happening? Wow. Okay, so it's storming outside. So the light is all janky, and I'm sorry. Okay. Um, spell talisman pouch with a feather of bravery. Oh, that's amazing. So this is a spell talisman pouch. So like I said, you can put your spells together and put them in a little... I mean, you can put them in a Ziploc. You can put your little uh, bottles if you do that and seal them with wax in this little pouch, um, a crystal, uh, you know, however you wanted to do that. There's quite a few ways of things you could actually do with this. If anybody needs ideas, drop me a note because I have lots and lots of them. Or if you just need like how to do it, I can help you with that too. Um, so it is exclusive. It is hand sewn. Um, this is, um, so let's see, what is sewn into the closure of this pouch is a quartz crystal. Mine looks like a smoky quartz, but it could just be the, it really looks like a smoky quartz. Can you guys see how that's a lot darker up there and then it kind of cools down, but it is not clear anywhere. So it might be a regular quartz, but like, um, do I have one handy? I have a selenite. Here's my selenite next to that. See, see how dark that is? So I, I don't know. It doesn't say smoky quartz, but I would be surprised if not. Okay, and then, um, so this whole section here is all about the pouch. It doesn't exactly give you like instructions, um, but it does have a few recommendations. Hang your pouch near an altar, wear it, use it during a ritual, just place it in your home, hang it up, things like that. Um, and let's see, does it say what kind of feather that is? 
Um, hold, please. I'm reading as fast as I can, which is pretty darn fast. Uh, it does not tell me what kind of feather that is. So I'm pretending it's a swan feather, even though it's probably a goose feather or just a regular old bird that fell out of the sky. Who knows? It's depressing, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Feather can be whatever you want. Prosperity, magical correspondence, artwork. Healing, magical correspondence is artwork. They have included affirmations with those. They are also on the artwork in case. Grounding, magical correspondence is artwork. Protection, magical correspondence is artwork. Okay. Then a set of four mini sigils. Um, so I'm thinking that within this little plastic pouch, there's other sigils in this little pouch. So let's just see, shall we? Um, so these are actually designed to go with the little pouch if you are so inclined. Um, they will fit in this little talisman pouch. And uh, they don't say on the, they don't, there's this one. Okay, yeah, there's four. That one, screenshot in case you want to use them, just saying. Did I say that out loud? Woo, hope they don't get mad. There you go, pretty cool. Um, hand rolled and anointed upon wings of health. Twin spiral spell candles. You know what? I didn't even smell these. I was so taken with what they look like. They don't smell anointed. They smell amazing, but it smells mostly of beeswax, but that's fine. I'm going to believe them. Um, so it says anointed with the intention of attracting and providing healing and empowering energies to you and those you hold dear. Uh, then they gave an incantation, which is upon the wings of health that I showed at the beginning. Um, and like I said, I prefer not to show those incantations. Oi, this is taking too long. Okay. Uh, tells you how to work with those candles. What else we got? Aramid magical anointing oil with all the goodies. Can you see how fantastic that is? I feel like, no, there we go. It's kind of amazing. And that has in it... Oh, uh, Aramid is one of the most ancient and powerful deities from the tribe of the goddess Danu. Okay, this I didn't know. The great herbalist and healer Aramid personifies beauty and enchantment brought upon her by serene incantations and song. So, we have all learned. Um, it's lavender. Okay, so it was lavender, lemon, and rosemary oils, and have included lemon peel, eucalyptus leaves, and lavender buds. There is also a Lemurian quartz which helps personify oneness within your own aura. Uh, okay, so that is pretty much what, oh my gosh, what is happening today? Healing Light Ritual Aura Spray. That is pretty much what I thought was in there. I think the eucalyptus might be what m made that balanced to me. So they are introducing their Healing Light Ritual Aura Spray. It is to bring light into your surroundings when circumstances may seem unfit. That's pretty nice. Just refocus and bring light into your surroundings. Okay? Because as you see the world, so it is. I actually agree with that entirely. Perspective is everything. So let's see what's in that. Um, it has eucalyptus, lavender, rosemary, blah, 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 rosemary, chamomile, clary, sage, and Blessings Magical Oil. Okay, it might be the Clary Sage that was hitting the back of my upper palate. I am not a fan of the way that smells, but it's, there's nothing else in it that would have that medicinal sense. Okay, and then Lavender Empowerment Ritual Sense, Incense, Angelite Palm Stone. So this is a spirit communicator stone. Angelite is something that helps you connect to guardians, angels, and ancestors. Um, and it is meant to use as a palm stone or to place like when you, when you have, when you want to work with your crowns, if it was angels, I would probably place it here or here, like lay down and put that in crown area or even higher a spiritual or a third eye. It's meant to be able to place that and just let it be. Um, and set upon tarot or oracle cards to charge when not in use. So that's pretty fantastic. I actually really like Angelite. It can be very strong 
especially around certain moons. Lemon peel enhances awareness um, and high esteem, which is why I like lemon peel. Eucalyptus leaf, it's a healing energy. Um, and Gallengolbert. So that is to enhance protection and prosperity spells. Um, and yes, Gallengolbert is fantastic for financial security. So right now, if you're interested in that, you get some St. John's wort and some Gallengolbert and you put them together and you walk around with them in your pocket. You will feel much more secure and grounded and protected. Call on St. John. Okay. Parchment paper personalized oracle reading. That is from the Crystal Intentions Oracle Deck by Margaret Ann Lembo. Okay. So there you go. That is all the things. Letter aside, palm agate. And I'm sorry, palm angelite. I always do that. And then the two candles. Pretty fantastic. The pouch with the quartz inlay. Trying to be gentle. I'm just going to move this to the side. Um, three bags of fantasticness. Four sigils. My pretend swan feather. Yours can be whatever you want. <laughs> Um, quite a lot of art, actually. Boink. Oil. Salt. I remember seeing the salt listed in the pages. And healing light aura spray. And last but not least, oracle card from the Crystal Healing Deck. So that is the entire Witch's Moon box for... April. Um, it did come a little bit late, but that is kind of what I expect right now. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this and I hope that you are handling quarantine. Okay. I'm going to let you know what I think about this lavender. I'm going to use it while I do my tarot readings I'm about to do for some of my clients. And I hope that you have many blessings upon you this month. Thanks for watching with me.